Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be doing a haul. I've kind of been collecting things for the past, I would say like two-ish months. I have clothing, I have some random stuff, some random pieces thrown, thrown in there. First things first, I'm the realist. Just kidding, that was terrible. Um, I'm gonna start with random stuff. I have all my stuff off to this side, so if you see me reaching, here that is why my bed is here so i'm just kind of reaching for stuff first thing that i have is this wall art um and it says make this moment count i'm a big fan of wall art um i've always loved wall art and so i was at walmart the other day and i saw it and i couldn't leave it so i don't remember how much it was five dollars probably anywhere between five and eight dollars. Next two things that I got were uh, Victoria's Secret. This is probably three weeks ago, I want to say. Let's go look at the perfumes that they have because I haven't been to Victoria's Secret in a really long time and I need a new perfume. first one that I got is called Temptation and as you can see I've already used quite a lot of it. Um, it smells like sexy and sultry and I really liked it. I think these are, well this is 18, but they were having a deal at two for 10. So I got one and then my grandmother got one. The next one I got, this was a little one called Victoria's Secret Night. Uh, it says it's 15, but I got it for, it was the, I think it was $10, which in reality I should have gotten the other like two of the big size one for ten dollars but i was already in line and they get you with these and i was just like you know what i have to get it it smells very sexy it smells a little bit more like a man's cologne next couple things are books now i'm not a big reader and i probably should be especially because i'm a college student and there is a lot of reading involved and I'm terrible at reading it like i'm not terrible at reading but i just can't sit down and, and read for that long but every once in a while when I'm in Barnes and Noble I just kind of like to look around and see what they got so I think these are all from bargain book section now, I think it was like eight dollars or something like that um, it's always believe in yourself and your dreams um, it's by Blue Mountain Arts collection and basically it's just a bunch of quotes. I'm a fiend for quotes. Anything that has inspirational value to it, I love it so much. So I saw this and I was like, you know what, for days that I'm not doing so well or I'm kind of a little bit down, I was like, this is going to be amazing. So I'll just read you one really quick. Keep looking forward to the future, to all you might be. Don't let old mistakes or misfortunes hold you down. Learn from them, forgive yourself or others, and move on. Do not be bothered or discouraged by adversity. Instead, meet it as a challenge. Be empowered by the courage it takes you to overcome obstacles. Learn something new every day. Be interested in others and what they might teach you, but do not look for yourself and other people's approval. As far as who you are and who you will become goes, the answer is always within yourself. Believe in yourself, follow your heart and your dreams. You, like everyone, will make mistakes, but so long as you are true to the strength within your heart, your own heart, you can never go wrong. And that's by Ashley Rice. So, it has different sections um, in there for different days when maybe you're not feeling yourself or you feel a little bit down and you just need a little bit of a pick-me-up. So that's the first one. The other two are my favorites. So those people that loves like doodle books or activity books where you know it asks you kind of like um pointless blogs books or alfie's books where it's like just crazy kooky stuff i saw them and i was like oh my god i need to have them so i picked them both up i don't remember how much they were this one says it's 12.99 and this one says 14.99 i don't think i paid that much for them maybe i did i don't know um, so the first one just says be inspired journal so on the top right here it says over 300 writing prompts and inspirational quotes inside this one for instance I just opened the page and this one right here 
says, A man who makes no mistakes does not usually make anything. And that was from Edward John Phelps. And then it'll ask you a question. So this one says, How can imperfection be beautiful in yourself and someone else? So then you would just kind of answer right here. And it's just something for you to keep. I have a lot of these, or I had a lot of these from when I was a little girl. And I would just write in them. And I loved like being interviewed by myself. And next one is called My Favorite Things. So it says over 200 pages of fun ideas to list all your favorite things. Two pages, I'm just gonna read you one. It says Hangouts, where would we find you chilling? So I've done a couple, so let's see. Kind of read you some, the one that I did. So like here, it says websites, right, right here says what are your internet addictions so I wrote tumblr love my tumblr if you want my tumblr I post a lot of five sauce stuff I'm a big five sauce fan I also post, post a lot of quotes on there I will definitely post my tumblr in the uh, description bar um, YouTube obviously Pinterest again if you want my Pinterest I will leave it um, in the description bar Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So I don't have a YouTube Instagram. I have a personal Instagram, but I don't know if I'm going to put that in the description. I do have a personal Facebook, but I'm not really going to put that either. Um, my Snapchat, I mean, I have my friends on there, but if you would like my Snapchat, I will leave it down below. I, it's a lot of randomness with my dog. Next, we're going to be moving on to jewelry. So I'm not... A big jewelry person. Um, I have a necklace and earrings. I don't really wear a lot of jewelry. I just started wearing jewelry really. But I was at Tori the other day and I've always wanted to find midi rings and unfortunately I'm allergic to nickel so it means that I can't wear a lot of fake jewelry because a lot of fake jewelry has nickel in it and I think this has nickel as well, which kind of sucks, but they were so cute not to pass up. Um, if I can find it, I'll we'll link in the description for you. Um, I got a size 8 or 9, only so that it fit me in the midi section, although this kind of fits all the way. This were $16.50, a little expensive, but you get um, 2, 4, 6, you got 8 pairs of rings. I have this one on, which is like a triangle which I really love. Um, and then I have this like, I don't know, spiky ball <laughs> on here. And then this one, and then I have a thumb one on, which is just, they're just really plain. So those are what they look like. And I'm obsessed with them a lot. So I will be wearing them soon. I just started wearing them. Hopefully they don't make my fingers green. Cause if they do, I will cry. Um, and then I'm gonna have to throw them out or give them away. Now I'm gonna go into clothing. First and foremost, this shirt, which is not interested, and it's from Torrid. <laughs> Can you guess what's my favorite store? Um, Torrid is really on the expensive side for clothes. I think this shirt was either $28 or $38, somewhere in between there, which is kind of expensive for a shirt. Every so often, I will go into Torrid and spend like $200. Oh, lots of money. Got this probably like a month ago, month and a half ago. Um, so I don't know if they still have it in store. If I can find it, I will link it in the down bar. Moving on, the next shirt that I got is this shirt and it says Espresso Yourself. And I thought that was really cute. I'm not a big coffee person anymore. And if I do drink coffee, it's never like at home. I just drink it when I go out. I thought this was cute because it's like express yourself, but it's kind of like espresso yourself. I tell you my sizing, even though I'm very uncomfortable about that, but um, I have a size three and I am losing weight. So these are actually starting to become a little big on me. Um, obviously when I get my surgery, they will probably be like moo moos, but that's okay. You could still wear it right along the next one I actually just got a couple days ago this is $32.50 and it just says big dreams good music expensive taste and I like it I don't have expensive taste but I'm more of the big dreams good music type person next item that I got was this sports bra I read some stuff online that said when you're in the hospital you want to wear 
sports bras and like, okay, I should probably go and get a sports bra. I haven't worn one since I was like 10. But um, it was really hard to find sports bras that I really liked. Um, and even still with these sports bras, it makes me look like I have no boobs and I don't really know why, but we'll just flow with it. So I actually saw Tess Holiday posting this on her Snapchat that she got this from Tori and I kind of fell in love with it. This is $38.50. It's black and it has pink lining in the, on the outside and then it just says down here kick wake up kick ass repeat and I kind of like that because it's my thing I love to kick ass the next item that I got is another sports bra um, these are both in a size 3 by the way um, this is also $38.50 and it's very plain it's just black um, but I liked the detailing right here it has like not detailing it has like a crisscross um, so it kind of looks really cute, like when you stick it on, it's just like crisscross. So I actually completely forgot that I had gotten this product, so I'm going to take it out of the bag. It was on Torrid's website three weeks ago. I saw people talking about Torrid's bralettes, and I fell in love. And I was like, oh, this bralette is so cute. Everyone was saying it's so fitting, it's so nice, it looks so pretty, blah, blah, blah. I ordered it, and I get it in. I go to try it on and it doesn't fit and I don't know why I am wear a three this is a three that I got um, it was $28.50 and it's really tight and it doesn't like come down all the way under my boobs I was gonna return it but because I'm gonna be losing weight I thought well okay if I'm gonna be losing weight and I know I'm gonna be losing weight for sure why don't I just hang on to it and keep it see what happens if anything I could give it to someone I don't know or donate it to Goodwill it just looks like this it has like lacy details right here I guess on the side of your where your boobies would go and then on the back it looks like this again it's lacy and there's like a little see-through hole next shirt that I got and these are all folded I've worn these several times sorry I didn't make a video sooner but it is what it is this one says never mind and I fell in love with it when I saw it and I couldn't leave it at Torrid again I think this is $28 I'm sorry that I don't have the exact figures and everything like that I will link them in the down bar for sure next shirt that I got I wore this actually in my first video uh, it just says New York City on the little boob it was a little pricey for just putting New York City on a t-shirt. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Again, 28 something, I'm, I think. Next shirt is actually from Target. It's a line at Target for plus size women called Ava and Viv. I really like their line. I like their line of t-shirts. Some of their stuff is a little bit more businessy for me. I am a college student. don't really need business stuff yet. It's just plain gray. I have, I think, every other color of this shirt. I really like it, but I was wearing it the other day, and there's a hole. I don't know if you can see that. There's a hole just right down the seam. So I don't know if the machine messed that up. I sure as hell didn't rip it up. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it as kind of like a shit shirt. If I want to wear it for bed, throw it on. And if it gets dirty, it gets dirty. No big deal. And this, I think, was $9. I'm not sure. Only got two more t-shirts. Next shirt is from Torrid as well. It's a tank top. I like their tank tops. I think their tank tops are really pretty. They fit me really well. They look very nice. Um, it's in a size 3. I think this was like 19 to 28, I believe. I'll try to find it. It has um, a rose on it, and I thought that was really cool. I like roses, so I got that. I also have, it's dirty, but I have um, another tank top that has a skull on it with flowers around it. So if I can find that on their website, I will link it for you um, to find. This is a tank top and it's from their athletic line and it just says run the world and I've actually gotten compliments on this shirt. I like it. It's a size 3. Looks like this. The only thing I'm mad about is I went and I did laundry and I don't know how but it looks like it got bleached 
somehow or something got on it and so I'm kind of pissed about that but I can always just get another one or just wear it again as like a kind of throw on shirt hello beautiful people so i'm so sorry my camera ran out of space and not only that it also died there will be a new video up in a couple days time doing a makeup haul if you like the video give it a like subscribe down below also um comment what your favorite store is and we'll leave all of the links down below and check out my other video love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.